Hey there guys, Sir Shui bringing you another episode of Fallout 4. We're going to continue where we uh, where we left off in the last episode, and that is by actually... Uh, well, first of all, we didn't technically decide to continue anything in the last episode. We're going to continue the mission from like four or five mission, uh, four or five videos ago, which was to actually go over here and help Nick Valentine get into Kellogg's place. So uh, we're going to start that up right now. Yep, I'm not... It's it's Master Lock, dude. You know what? Okay. Go check that out. You want to try it out? Go ahead. Try it out. I actually do have a bobby pin on me. Alright, so apparently she can pick the lock. Uh, I'm going to go over to Miscellaneous and I'm just going to give her some bobby pins, man. Let's give her five bobby pins. Okay. Go ahead. Inspect the door. Try it out. Can she actually do this? Wow. Ah, so close. Guess I'm getting rusty. I give up. Nick. <laughs> McDonough won't give you the key. Um, so that was she apparently does know how to pick a master master key, master lock rather, but uh, she just sucks at it. So I wasted four bobby pins. No big deal though, uh, because <laughs> I don't end up using the bobby pins that much anyways. So what we need to do now is we actually need to go up to the mayor's place in order to take, or in order to get the key to Kellogg's area. So let's see uh, what happens. I should say, let's see what happens if we uh, we go and talk to him about it. Oh wow, that's funny. Piper's right here. <laughs> I think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me. I like how the door to his office is open anyways. Oh wow. Look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office? Uh what are you, you first? Here, Piper? <laughs> find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious looking courier every other week. Not from any hmm. Not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to me. An errand boy. Oh, wow. An institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. Okay, well, being the same nosy reporter, but uh, let's let's try to see if we can... We can... Okay, apparently we're not going to be able to talk to, uh, to her. I was just leaving anyway. Okay, we got to wait for Piper to leave, apparently. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press... Yep, help? I'm definitely not a member of the press. Uh, let's talk, talk to about, about Kellogg's house. In the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something okay. belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Sure thing. Thank I'll you. Talk to the mayor, then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Oh, wow. Your friend looks like trouble. McDonough, Mayor ah, McDonough, come on. Yes. I remember you. Our nice flower, by the way. I wish I was in it's probably fake. Getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How <laughs> eh, it's not that glorious. I mean, it's cool and all, but eh. So, uh, house keys. A key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> Keys don't take up that much space, smartass. Citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final Okay, dog, word. seriously. He's Please, a kidnapper, Mary, man. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh. Thank you. I, I Kate disliked that. Really, Kate? You're a douche. She would have liked me to bribe her. Pri bribe him, I mean. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. Okay, that's definitely something that he he's there's definitely something that he's hiding. Take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. I like how 30 seconds ago he's like, "Oh no, I can't do it." And now he's just like, "I insist you take the key." You know, it's obviously my idea to stop this kidnapper guy because I want the nice fame. You know, I want to look good in front of all the people. 
gain their confidence and whatnot. <laughs> oh man, P typical politicians. They'll say one thing and then as soon as, uh, you know, it, it comes to their reputation or something, then they flip entirely. More so how almost every politician behaves that way now that I think about it. You know, it, whenever it comes to something private, you know, they want to keep it secret or they want to not talk about it at all. But if it's something that will be publicized, that's when they go all out. <coughs> Excuse me. That's when they go all... <coughs> Can't even speak. That's when they go all out trying to be the good guy. So that way they, uh, they get more voters, they get more support, and they can keep their office or position, whatever it is that they have, or whatever it is that they want to, uh, you know, to get. It could be something as simple as just having the approval of people to something as uh, complicated as, like, getting the, getting the, like, the right to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Whatever. Kellogg must have left behind something. Okay, let's take that Gwinnett South. Definitely useful. Let's take that. That's all useful. Yeah, you could always trade stuff up. Yeah, it does really it seems really freaking small, man. There's no way that this is all that there is. By the way, I'm just I'm just gonna take everything that this guy has. Because this is this is abandoned, so it doesn't matter. What what you really need to do is you need to go over here, activate the button. Yep, that's one way to hide a room, definitely. Let's take that Nuka Cola Quantum, gumdrops, Nuka Cola Quantum, potato crisp, the blanco mac and cheese. Uh nice nice and so that was pretty pretty useful and we have a bunch of purified water definitely going to be useful for later on uh flame or fuel not going to use that shotgun shells definitely going to use that later on i'm just taking everything as i mentioned before okay the dog is pissing me off man and he decides to head in here for whatever reason what's up dog cigar box san francisco sunlight let's uh i'm just going to take everything in this place honestly it's just it's just easier that way just take all the stuff. Uh, we could I use dog meat. Me could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't yeah. Why go fetch him and let him have a whiff? And uh, dog meat is a German Shepherd, if I remember correctly. Before so out, uh, we're in luck. I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't yeah, that's true. The after one man. Um. Damn, I'm conflicted right now. I don't know. I might need your help on this one, but maybe I should go on my own. Okay, this dog is seriously just. just what are you doing, dog? Not. What are you doing, dog? What are you doing? <laughs> so friggin adorable so now we can actually get Nick as a as a partner as well but I kind of jumped the gun in this I forgot that you need to you literally need to pick uh, like whether you want it to be your dog come on whether you want it to be your partner right away or if you want to uh, just leave it off and it's also kind of a uh, you know as soon as you go, go outside you meet dog meat right away so this mission you literally have to start it up right away Thankfully, we were able to get Piper's affinity all the way up, which means that we got the Gift of Gab perk, which uh, will help us out because, you know, we're going to be discovering stuff. I kind of don't feel like talking to Dogmeat, honestly, uh, just because it's just going to get a lot more complicated. Okay, you know what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go talk to the Brotherhood of Steel uh, just because I, I want to level up before I continue the main mission. That's uh, probably going to be the best bet for us. Uh, just because we're going to level up, get more HP, and we're going to hopefully get our affinity higher with uh, with Kate here. So keep in mind, Kate is kind of like the mercenary type. She wants a lot of money. She likes drugs. Uh, what else? Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. She doesn't like being the nice person. Uh, she's all for herself. You know, she's a loner. <sighs> Yep. So I need I need to I need to Okay, this dog is pissing me off. Dog, what are you doing? Oh my Josh. Oh my Josh? God, I can't even speak anymore. Anyways, let's head into uh this police station here. We're not gonna rest here, but we are definitely gonna go inside because that's where the Brotherhood of Steel is. And they have stuff that we want. Paladin dance. 
they will help us out. Well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Yep. Finally, Thanks to me. Good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Had some help from yep. a new friend. You're I all welcome. Place on our team, but I'm not sure he's willing to accept. In the meantime, he's welcome to take shelter here, as long as he doesn't get in our way. Yep. Speak with Paladin Dance. Paladin Dance. Okay. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood, if you want it. Um. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll just say I'll be. I'd be honored to join. He shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Cool. I'm only make a joke. Spiffy uniforms. Oh yeah. And here I thought you joined up for a sense of purpose and meaning. So you decided to stay, huh? Max that was a joke. <laughs> uh. Let's go with let's the sarcastic just approach. Get it over with. What do you say? You can play it however you want, <laughs> guy. It's gonna take a lot more than completing one mission to impress me. I'm not Chris, trying to impress you, dude. That's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you. Yep. You need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army, and we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you honestly, I'm a good guy as well. Ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Yeah, I have military bra Don't worry. background, dude. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command: honesty and respect. You fall in sure. line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. <laughs> Not so sure about that one. Before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of initiate. This is only a training. So I'm a noob. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say fair enough. Outstanding soldier. Ad victoriam initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. It means for. Oh, victory. sorry, two glo two victory. It's been a long time since I've done, um, <laughs> Latin. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever. Now that I think about it, the word for pro in Latin is pro. So yeah. I need you to report. Pro fide et patria. That used to be the uh, the school motto for my old high school. Which is uh, for faith and honor, or no, for faith and, and country, for faith and honor. What the hell? <laughs> We're turned into a friggin' hey, army or something. Uh, you know what? Let's talk to Scribe Halen. Yeah, I don't really care about Reese. Uh, yeah, I, I can handle it. If you could, you'd be the first. Reese. Oh, trust me, I can handle a lot. A lot. Okay, this dog. Come on. Family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. Is there something between you two? When I first joined up, Reese is the one who sponsored me. Mm. Swing, so you care for him. Rose. He's your mentor. I thought there was a little more between us, so I asked him if he cared oh. about me that way. He told me the Brotherhood of Steel was all that he cared about. And there wow, was he's super dedicated. He's like the super soldier, honestly. So dedicated to his job and nothing else. I, I need to get back to things. Sorry about prying about, about Reese, that. Just keep doing what you're doing. He'll come around soon enough. Sure. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? That's why I'm, I started talking to you, yeah. Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of yeah, technology. Yeah, you, you mentioned that before. Or um, also, not you, Paladin Dance mentioned that before. artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck. Sounds Be good. Careful. Will do. Okay, so we need to actually start that one. There you go. Start the quartermaster. Quarter mastery, sorry. Recover the reflex capacitor at the super duper mart. That's so funny. They have a super duper mart here as well. I'm assuming that's kind of like a Walmart here, like in in the uh, in the uh, Fallout universe, because they have that at Wash in Washington D.C. They I don't think they had that in New Vegas. Uh, now that I think about it, no, they didn't have that in New Vegas. They have that here again in Fallout Four. That's, that's pretty cool. That's interesting. You know, it adds a nice little, uh, nice little twist of reality. Nice little flash of, of reality. No, no, don't really know what the hell, what the hell I'm saying. Hello. That's a lot of feral ghouls. Hopefully, we will be able to kill them all before they do anything. 
anything to us. Okay, that was just unfortunate timing on my part. Let's go for that critical headshot. Kill that guy. Or almost kill that guy. Okay. I just suck with aiming, man. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. All works out. Looks like there's another guy over there further up. We're under caution, which is good, which means that they don't know that we're here. I can deal with that. And there should have been one more guy over here. Yep, there he is. I am not aiming. I'm not hitting the mark, I should say. I am aiming. I'm just not hitting the mark. Okay. Time to just spam. Whoops. I didn't realize that I was running out of ammo already. I just noticed she's using a shotgun. Cool. I think she's the first uh, companion that uses a shotgun. Everyone else that... Or, Piper uses a uh, pistol. So, she's more effective than Piper right away just because she uses a shotgun. Okay, hello. Okay, let's just spam bullets into this dude. There you go. Did not mean to do that. I meant to back out. Okay, hello. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. Kate, that uh, helped out a bit. Trying to make sure that I don't get jumped by the uh, the feral ghouls up ahead, because there's at least one more feral ghoul over there. Wow, there's like three feral ghouls. Holy crap! Up oh, there you go. There's one of them right there. Let's try to see if we can get some bat shot on this guy. Not one single one with the 60% uh, 60% hit ratio. Okay, wait, what is going on? Okay, that's going on. <laughs> there you go kill that one. Let's do a bat shot on that ghoul. Oh, wow. We're getting fly we're getting swarmed by a bunch of these guys, man. Okay. There's another one that went down. Melee. There you go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's another one that went down here as well. Okay. Uh, Raider. Not Did she drop anything useful? I think we were looking for a right arm for her. Um, for Kate, so it's a good thing that we actually <laughs> we actually fought, or we actually went through here. Okay, I want to give you the uh, the right arm. Let's see, Raider right arm. Yep, it's slightly b it's better armor than she has. So <laughs> that's all that's all that really matters, honestly. Let's see. I'm gonna take that pipe pistol just because we'll be able to probably use it effectively. Maybe 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 not. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go this way. See, that's a frag mine. That's another frag mine further up ahead as well. So let's grab that frag mine. 45 rounds. Okay. And there's another frag mine over here. There you go. Let's pick that up as well. Did I pick it up? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. And there's another frag mine here as well. Let's take that. And she's being swarmed. I should just go for a headshot now that I think about it. Critical headshot. There you go. There you go. Oh, screw you, dude. There you go, man. You are no challenge to me. And there's a... There is a feral ghoul right there. Cool. She's so useful, man. She, she's, she's actually taking them out by herself. Like, I don't actually have to get involved. It's a good idea to, actually, to get involved because, uh, you know... I get some uh, some XP, but I don't actually have to get involved, which is the best thing. Basically, she's actually useful. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not in a scenario where Piper will like when I was with Piper, she would go down like every five seconds. She can actually hold her own, probably. All right, so let's just spam this feral ghoul with the vats. Okay, there you go. Awesome sauce. Let's hop down here. Oh, nothing useful. Okay. There you go. No big deal, man. Feral ghouls. No problem at all. There's a lot of feral ghouls here. Holy crap. I've been fighting them for a while. I've been probably fighting them for a very long time now, actually. And uh, now that I think about it, this feral ghoul is going to be in this little thing right here, isn't he? Yep. Okay, let me... I want to open... There you go. <laughs> Not sure how I'm going to open it by <laughs> by looking at the sky, but sure. Uh, there's going to be a feral ghoul right there. Nope. Feral ghoul right there. She also likes lockpicking. Awesome. There you go. Screw you, Feral Ghoul Roamer. 
nice. We managed to clear out College Square by ourselves. Uh, damn, now that I think about it, this was the actual mission for uh, Reese. Or Rice, I don't, I don't remember his name. But that was his mission, clear out College Square. Damn. See, I wish I had remembered, because then I would have just accepted that one, because it's easier. And it's also literally, like, right next to where where they already are, so it would have been a quick mission, quick XP that I could have gotten. Whatever. Okay, hello, Feralbo. There you go. <laughs> cool, let's get that ammo. Oh, frag, frag grenades. That works out. Let's switch over to the actual frag grenades as well. That way we can use them. And now that I think about it, I haven't really done much in this episode uh, other than... You know, doing like their first mission with Kate, which is uh, advancing the main story mission. But I want to try to get the affinity with Kate further up. Um, before I continue anything else. Also, now that I think about it, I could also go for getting Nick as my companion because Nick likes helping people. So I could do all of the missions that uh that are you know the Minutemen. I could do th those missions with uh, with Nick and. They're not honestly that complicated. I believe the hardest one is probably the first one, which is clearing the raiders from the Corvega bottle factory place thing. I don't really know what it's called. But, uh, yeah, from this area here. There's a bunch of raiders here. Holy crap. I think I think this is where we have to clear them all out from uh, this location here. Oh, there have been notified. Where are you guys? I know you're under caution, but like, where I can't, I don't see any blip for for any of them. Okay, whatever. I'll just continue forward. Hopefully, I don't run into any uh, powerful enemies. We discovered Lexington. Cool. Let's take out our pistol just in case. Now that I think about it, why am I using a pistol? Pistol is probably not that effective. Okay, there's someone up there. Let's see. The raider's probably just going to get swarmed. I have a headshot. Okay, let's go for... Let's see. Go for a guaranteed headshot on this. And then do the rest of the body shots on that guy. There you go. Headshot. And then... There you go. Kill that raider scum. And then empty the rest of the bullets onto this feral ghoul. That takes care of business. And they're all dead. Which is cool. Let's take, uh, let's take what we need from this person. Pocketed girder, girded leather chest piece. I'm going to take that for Kate. Uh, the pocketed thing allows her to carry more stuff with her, which is good because she's basically just going to be my junk carrier person thing. Not sure where I was going with that. <laughs> let's let's go to this cat club. I can't even speak anymore. Let's make purified water out of that, though. And let's make some grilled rad roach. Iguana and a stick. Myrlurk egg omelet, definitely. Some make some mud chops, a mud chop apparently. Squirrel on a stick as well, and we're pretty much done with all of this. That works out. We got, we got everything good. Okay, I need. There you go. <laughs> I got stuck there for some reason. Let's see. Um, short double barreled shotgun. I want to take it, but it's not really worth much. I want to take the knuckles. They don't. They don't weigh too much. I'm gonna take the ammo off of that person. Oh, okay. Nope. It was a bad idea jumping in there. Very bad idea. Um, let's see. I'm going that way, so we can we can hop down here and just continue forward from here. Now that I think about it, I probably should just end the video here. I mean we've we've done quite a bit and we're we're already past the twenty minute mark. There's a machine gun turret there, so let's switch over to I wanna do that pulse grenade, but I'm just, I'm just gonna do this to Increase the uh... There you go Okay, he spotted us So that's the thing that happened uh, Let's go back to the assassin's powerful 10 millimeter pistol And no, I want to live I want to live I want to live Let's eat the iguana and a stick Wow, we're taking a lot of damage by fire I wasn't planning to take that much damage. In fact, I wasn't... Oh, God. was not really planning to take much damage at all. Okay, keep an eye on the health. Okay. There you go. And one more. One more. There you go. Awesome sauce. Killed one of them already. 
I'm gonna recover some more health with the iguana suit. No, I'm gonna insta match. There you go. That works. It's a bit of uh, radiation damage as well, but can't really do much about that. There's someone there. Okay, hello. Hello, Raider Psycho person. Dude, fire all you want. As long as you don't actually hit me, I don't care. Nope. He, I thought I could have sworn that he just threw something at me, but thankfully he seems like it seems like he didn't throw anything at me, which is good. Let's see. Pocketed metal left arm. Uh, what's ours? Metal left arm. Where's the left arm? There you go. Pocketed metal left arm. Okay, it's the same thing that we have. However, we can actually give this pocketed metal left arm to Kate. Right, darling. Yep, and what's yours is mine as well, so it, it works both ways. Um, so let's give her that. Make her equip that one. And what was I saying? The... I already gave her the right arm. The 715, and that's a chess piece. Let's see what... She doesn't have a chess piece. Okay, there you go, chess piece. Now she's uh, she's more armored up, which is good. That way she won't die like in five seconds. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Much chops. Yeah, let's let's eat the mud chops. Can I hop up here, by the way? I can. Cool. There's an expert lock. Okay, I just broke the lock, but that's no big deal. We should be able to uh, open, open sesame. It. There you go. Awesome sauce. Got it. Let's see. Duct tape, Molotov cocktails. I'm going to take all of that. I don't really care for anything else. Uh, let's take both of them. We have space. Let's take that jet as well. Wasn't there somebody else here, by the way? I'm not being paranoid. I could have sworn that there was one more person, one more raider around, but apparently not. Was it this guy that we... Maybe it was this guy and uh, Kate managed to kill her. I'm going to take that metal helmet for uh, Kate. Let's take the, all the metal pieces, actually. You know, just in case. And also for Kate. That way we can give her some uh, some better armor. Let's hop down here, because apparently there's no more enemies here. Which is good. Gamma rounds. Haven't used any gamma weapons, now that I think about it. Maybe that's not, that's not such a bad thing, though. Uh, where is Kate, by the way? Seriously, where is Kate? Okay, that's a... Okay, that, that might have been what I saw before. There you go, no big deal. <laughs> easy, easy uh, XP there. Anyways, let's talk. Hey. Oh, let's talk to Kate. There you go. Let's trade her. Let's trade some stuff with her, is what I meant to say. Let's see, right arm. Uh, she has a raider, so let's. There you go, that increases it. Let's see, that's one and one. That's seven and three, definitely increases it. Uh, right leg, she already has a metal right leg. Metal helmet. Uh, she has a hard hat, which is 4 no. Metal helmet is 9 and 4. Okay, so definitely want to equip that one instead. Let's give her the extra metal right arm, right leg. Metal right leg is what I meant to say, obviously. Um, <laughs> man, I just can't even speak. I can't think for some reason. Not sure why. I mean, honestly, there's no real reason that I shouldn't be able to think for whatever. Uh... Looks like we have to go into this building, actually. Yeah, we do. Have, we do need to go to this building. Hacking, this is I can't me. pick that. I mean, I can't hack this. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll just we'll just need to go around the building until we actually get uh, to the main entrance of the Super Duper Mart. Ooh, this is gonna be a fun mission now that I think about it. It's gonna be full of super, or not super mutants. It's gonna be full of ghouls. Let's take all of this, Mr. Handy Fool, as well, just because we can. And I'm actually gonna end this video here with this strange symbol. So thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, take care and goodbyes. Uh